saw the coolest thing ever. I'm leaving my yard and I see a big black crow, I guess, probably. <clears throat> Flying across the yard, maybe about, maybe about 20 feet in the air. And right on his tail is a North American Mockingbird. <laughs> and it just nipping at him with his beak, nipping at his tail, just right, just on his tail, just matching his every tink, 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 tink. And so I don't know if the crow came in there and stole one of his eggs or what, but that was great. Cause you know, the crow's like this and then the, the and, you know, the muck, oh shit, about to get my, gate's about to close my truck. <laughs> Stop. And yeah, the mockingbird's like, you know, this. So it's, you know, the juxtaposition in size is ridiculous. So that was, that was Oh my God. Uh, I just went to the UPS store. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I've been saving up packages. Cause I was pretty sure most of the stuff I had coming. Oh God, was not gonna fit. Oh God. Anyway, I had eight packages. I mean, not big or anything, they weren't heavy, but it was eight packages. So it was a large expanse of space that I had to try to carry them on. I picked them up off the ground. Our lady was holding the door for me and I was trying to hurry. And I'm stretched out as far as my arms can stretch. And I totally pulled a muscle in my back. Like I've just, just started feeling good today, uh, yesterday. Like, cause I pulled my back a few weeks ago, pulled it, pulled it, tweaked it. And then I, Robin was feeling better. That's when I dropped my bike and then I, pulled a muscle picking that up and I was messed up for a week and I'm just now feeling like I'm almost back to normal and now I pulled a muscle on the right side of my back so that is freaking awesome so I'm bringing my wife to uh, see all the birdhouses in Butler so I'm gonna take probably individual pictures since I've already kind of done the tour on my motorcycle mostly but I'll put the camera back in the window to catch the neighborhood since my camera died last time <laughs> Brenda and Tom Jr. Like there's not names on hardly any of them. Brenda's a weird name for presume is a cat, a turtle, a possum, I wonder what these animals were that are in the boxes. I wonder if there ever were are any animals or if it's all just for art. Big birdhouse over the top. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't even see these when I came in last time. All the church birdhouses. Yeah, come on, you look at there. So my video camera was definitely dead where it was just recording audio at this point so y'all didn't see any of this. A little cluster here. But yeah, I think we've got mostly one person in the community that is the artist. Probably a lady. Big fan of Elvis. Got guitars in their barn. But there's no way that one person owned this many freaking birds. So there's griffins on each side of the bridge, which I didn't see before. This side says no steel zone. 
He's just totally hiding behind the branch. Just can't even saw to him. Yeah, they're actually on all corners of the bridge. No gargoyles. I said griffin. It's not definitely not a griffin. It's a gargoyles. A gargoyles. I wonder if they have them glued. It says no steel zone. Yeah, but that could just be a branch falling. Bottom tree. Seen a lot of those. This is not a racetrack. Slow down. So yeah, I should have done a walkthrough and got a closer look at all these on the motorcycle, but it was hot. This one I don't think was on the ground last time, but maybe it was. Houses of Butler, Georgia, is what I'm calling this. Uh, it's gonna be the name of this film. with a shaky camera. I walked through a spider web. I hit a branch. I'm probably on the edge on account of all the dead the dead uh the zombie birds probably. Cat zone, slow, you drink cat zone. I definitely did not see all these when I drove around last time on a motorcycle. But there's a bunch of them all through the all through the woods here. And they're in front too. Can't even sound him hardly. Freaking big, big bird statues on wood and small bird statues on wood and bird houses and whatever the dang skeleton houses are called, skeleton faces. These aren't in the neighborhood, this is like on the edge of the neighborhood. There's all these too.
really like the El Muerte bases. Oh, do you see this, babe? Look. It's Ward's, Ward Edwards Museum. Gazebus. Yeah. Welcome to our home. 